Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. This episode I was hoping to do some more work with the robots logistics. I was going to do some research on those green and red wires as well. Um, but then I noticed that there was a copper shortage. And the reason why is because we're running out of coal. If you look up the top there, not much is getting passed over. These aren't actually getting any coal to them at all. So I went over to have a look at the coal area and we're basically using all of the coal that we can so we need to find a new patch and there's one not too far from it so I want to expand and uh, yeah build another little site for mining over there I've got lots of electric mining drills so that's okay um, but on the way over there there are some creepers nearby so I thought right we've got to take out this creeper spawner and this was one of those other things that we wanted to do and I came over here and had a look at my um, the amount of rockets that I've produced and we have more than enough which is great uh, we've got a full chest over here there you go there's tons of rockets and this thing is full I put the coppers in to buffer that as well um, so we're actually going to take a hundred of those with us and you know what if I well if I die it's game over so I should probably make a save before we do this I was thinking I should put some items in a chest but that's uh, kind of pointless because when we die that's it um, we can put those back online they're just, they're just sitting there not doing anything now because of this other system and I tell you what and now is not a good time to record really because it's night and where we're going we're not going to have many street lamps so I'm going to put one down here um, so I guess I'm going to have to wait for that I can also make a save and I don't think I need to do too much else to prepare I should keep my eye on the armor I'm not sure how quickly that's going to get damaged uh, but if that starts going down it might be a good idea to grab some steel and make some more heavy armor okay daytime is upon us and if we head up here you're going to see that there is a patch of coal just at the top of the screen there it is and then there's our creeper spawner and this is going to be the first one that we're going to take out so let's switch weapon to the rocket and uh, let's try and fire let's try and get close and get one away and then we have to switch back to this one to take care of these guys and do you know what I could do with there I could really do with some of the upgraded types these ones piercing bullet magazine let's buy two of those by <laughs> craft okay right so let's try that again I'm gonna hold down space just want to just oh whoa, whoa, running into the wrong place yeah just want to destroy the uh, creeper first of all oh I'm using my pistol <laughs> it's actually slightly better than that it felt like it was with the other type of ammo all right so let's do that again just gonna hover over the creeper spawner and hold down space for as long as we can Oh, oh, no, 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 that's good. Not good, even. There we go. Oh, another two. Zoom in and kill these guys. Right, so now, if there's no more of these coming to me, the rest of it should be fairly straightforward. And we get ourselves some alien artifacts as well, which is good. So, is there a range where I'm... There you go, look at that. Now it's easy pickings. All I've got to do is stand here. Take these out with ease. And that's that one gone. Yeah, this is easy now. So that's a good strategy, I think. Always focus on the creeper spawners first. And look, I'm just holding down space now, so it's auto-aiming. Which is kind of useful. So once we've destroyed the creeper spawner, we can just auto-aim. So let's take these. How many of those have we got? Eight. Eight alien artifacts. And if we press this, we can get an idea how much it costs to... Uh, uh, sorry to research and upgrade so if we've got 75 of those I do think it's one for a potion then we can upgrade the speed of our logistics robots which is cool oh and also the cargo size that's awesome so they could pick up maybe an extra item each time and this looks like it's one of those level things where you can keep upgrading it like we're doing with uh, lab effectivi effectivity every time we go to say that word it should be efficiency um, also rocket shooting speed and rocket damage. I tell you what, if that was rocket range, I'd be really interested in that. Um, so some really useful upgrades there uh, that we're going to want for doing... Do you know what? There's some more over there. Why don't we take these guys out? Going to get right in there. Come on, shoot. Okay, this is actually working really well. And the creeper spawner's out already. So now all we have to do is kill these guys, and then we can sit there and take out those turrets. That was really easy. 
Okay, well you've seen enough of this... Oh, I walked into range. Yeah, you've seen enough of this already, so I'm just going to take these out and make a cut. Easy peasy. That's what that was. <laughs> Let's pick those up. So now we have 16, so we get 8 each time. That's probably going to be quite consistent. Is there any more in the area? I feel like uh, destroying a few more while I'm here. Um, and let's check the recipe as well. It does just need one, so... Oh, wait a minute, do you get 10 times alien space pack? Do I get 10 just for one? Let's find out. Let's craft... That can't be right. What does it mean by 10 times? Well, let's find out. Look, it's almost done. Alien science pack. We get 10 of them. Oh, that's excellent. So we can, if we go to research... Uh, let's bring up the research tree. We can get those really quickly now. In fact, I can do a couple of these. Let's see. Oh, 200 on that one, so we'd need 20. Um, I think I think these are going to be really good, because we're going to use those to get them, basically. They're going to help us get the uh, alien artifacts. And you know what? This is quite fun, going and taking these out, and I could see myself doing it for a while. So I think I'm going to get enough to upgrade those two things, and then after that we'll focus on logistics. So uh, we actually came here to <laughs> sort out our coal problem. I'm going to do that now. And when that's done, I'm going to go around and destroy a bunch of creeper spawners. And uh, then we can do some more research. Oh, look, here's another one. <laughs> okay, our coal problem is sorted out. Those alien artifacts that I've got, they're all in this chest. They're being deposited onto this track here. And I'm building a load more of these at the moment, so we can leave them here while I go off and all of this will work. Because I'm going to go hunt for some alien artifacts. Uh, making a bit more armour as well, just in case, but this is hardly taken a scratch. I think actually it's taken about 500 hit points, so another one's probably good. I might make one or two more before I leave. Maybe I'll make it a long trip. Um, the setup as well actually I wanted to show you, but it's all the way in the distance and it's dark at the moment, so uh, maybe I'll show you the coal later on, but do you know what? You've seen it before. It's just a bunch of mining drills uh, laid down to get the um, yeah, to get all of the <laughs> all of the coal onto the tracks. Okay, anyway, right, I'm going to go hunt down some more alien artifacts. Okay, it has been a long time. Uh, can't remember what exactly I was saying I was going to do when I left off, but a lot has happened since. Um, found some creeper spawners, and actually I found a new defensive turret where they can fire missiles as well, or rockets even. And so I've tried to gear, gear up a bit here. I've uh, taken some of the resources off of our line and created one of these just to do, uh, what are they called? Piercing bullet magazines. So they're going to be like my... If I'm really in trouble, you know, I can use that weapon. Um, and actually, I'm really low on ammo as well. I need to pick up more of that before I go back out. Um, and I've really just been starting to feel the strain now that we're doing more of this research. I could actually stop doing the research for a while while I go out and hunt, um, yeah, these creepers. And I guess that's uh, a sign of the strain there, that I'd have to slow down production of other stuff so I could produce enough ammunition to go out and do that. Um... But yeah, I guess I didn't really think about how large scale this project could be. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to cough. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, uh, I recorded an episode a while ago where I said I'd been ill. I was kind of like ill for one day, you know, I worked for it, but... Uh, ever since then I've just been left with that kind of leftover feeling, you know, like a bit of a cough and the sniffles. And it's not gone away yet, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine, I can deal with it. Um, so what I think I really need to do with this setup at some point is expand it. I'm kind of put off from doing that because I feel like I just want to explore the rest of the technology tree and all of that and then start over again and do something proper. But what I might end up doing is going out and finding tons and tons of places with iron and just hooking it all up to the network because um, it's only ever going to use as much as these lines here can hold. So let's say we've got an iron farm over here one over where this copper one is and then one down here and I set them all up with 20 electric mining drills each and they all go onto this track well the track can only accept so much ore so then loads of those electric mining drills are not going to be used until they can produce something and there's a space to put it on the track um, so by doing that you know you're not going to be wasting any electricity so there's an idea um, I don't know why I'm walking up here I'm going in the wrong direction if you really want to know where it is uh, can you see that fork over there that's where I went and built the new one and by the looks of it I could possibly get more out of this because this is backed up and we should be able to get it onto the other side of the line as well so I think what I should do is take a couple of repeaters 
repeaters, <laughs> it's not Minecraft. Take a couple of inserters, put them like that, and then bring that over here. Oh, and just like that, there we go, look at that. So we are almost getting like a, a maximum flow out of this. It looks like the way they're coming out on the right, well, the bottom side of this belt uh, means that it can't be fully done like this. Uh, but then again, this has materials on both sides of the track. So what if we were to, uh, give me a second here, I think we could improve this again possibly. So if we go like that and then take one of these, so th there could be a lot more, uh, sorry, a much more logical way of doing this, but I'm just, I'm just doing something that works, you know, quickly. <laughs> okay, and then I put two of those there as well. And that guy needs power. Let's give him some power. Oh, I did that wrong. No, no, I done it right. Okay, there we go. So now we have these on both sides of the track. And look at that. Are they going to... Mm, still not quite like this one is. Maybe that will fix itself over time. Anyway, that was a complete and utter detour right there. <laughs> what I need to go and do... Well, I was going to pick up more rockets, but it looks like I'm going to have to shut down the research operation if I want to really go and get lots more alien artifacts. So what I'll probably do is look at how many we need and see if I can balance it. So there's only going to be so much more research to do, it looks like. Is that Actually, I think all of these... All the research we have left is upgrades. Yeah, upgrades... Cargo size is useful, but these are just upgrades now, so there's no new technology apart from rocket defense, which would be pretty cool to check out, I guess. So maybe maybe we should aim to get our rocket shooting speed up to 5. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So we'll research up until that point. I'm not going to bother with logistics. We're probably going to learn as much as we can on this map and then move on. Um, so anyway, how many of these potions do we have? We have just over 300 and a load backed up as well and we need to get let's see another 150 and then probably 200 after that one maybe so 350 and then just 10 of those um, that's actually compared to every one and that's time to thousand so that's oh that's a really large amount of alien artifacts am I getting that right yeah that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so in order to get that, I would actually have to shut everything down, focus on ammunitions, um, so I could gear myself up and go really far out and get loads of those. So I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for that. Anyway, um, I should really get over there to this location so I can show you uh, the other missile turrets and we can check out what my weapons are like now. I've upgraded them. And I think we'll just focus on on the logistics stuff in the next episode. Like I said, I wanted to research more about that, see if I could find out something. Um, it looks like it's going to be night time now, so I'm going to head over to where these turrets are and I'll be with, back with you in, uh, in a moment. <laughs> okay, I was just thinking about how starting a new world is silly because these worlds are infinite. I have tons of materials and resources and I can just move them somewhere else. Uh, right as I was thinking that, I was looking at this location, I was thinking Tons of iron ore up there, loads of coal to the right and some copper as well. Another patch of coal here. If I remove all these trees, it's uh, a really big area. And then I realised, if I zoom out further, it's the place I actually wanted to go to. Because just up here are these uh, rocket turrets you can see there. Uh, they do damage 40, shooting speed 4. And yeah, I was trying to take out these ones here and they started doing some real damage to me. So what we want to do is sneak up here and get out of range where they can't shoot us. Okay, let's see if we can fire at them. Nope. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and I had the wrong gun out as well. Okay, let's do that again. Can we shoot that far? I'm going to hold down space and try and hit it. Oh, it can it can hit me before I can get to it. That's, that's quite worrying because... Uh, <laughs> let's switch to the right weapon here. Oh, because I have to take, you know, a, a big hit on health to do some damage to it. Um, so I guess with better upgrades like the sh rocket shooting speed and stuff then that would be less of a risk. Let's see what it's like. Ooh. Um, oh, I've got the wrong weapon selected again. Oh, that was fast. And it's gone. 
So we can get these out of the way. Maybe what we do is just aim for the one on the corner. Just see. Yeah, right. I'm going to hold down spacebar, move in. I got two shots away and one of them went onto one of these guys. Not good. Um, but let's see. What health is it now? I don't think I even hurt it. I've done 48 damage, so I think I'm just going to stay away from that at the moment. I'm definitely not prepared. But look at this area. Look at this coal right here. There's absolutely tons of resources around here. Another iron patch. Uh, copper up here. Coal. It does seem like a really good area for setting up another base. All I have to do is head right for ages. Let's, uh, let's take this out. Switch weapon. Come on, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Okay, and then take care of all of these dudes. There we go. I would I would try them out with the other magazines on the machine gun, except I don't really have enough. Uh, let's just take out these couple of creeper spawners. There we go, that's really easy now. Oh, 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 gotta be careful. Yeah, that is really, really easy. And soon my shooting speed is going to be upgraded as well. Um, so, I think I'm actually done with collecting alien artifacts now. I'm going to pick these ones up and then head back because um, we need a ridiculous amount to finish all of the research. I've also realised that it's pointless to leave the map because we can just move to a new area. Oh, look at that. That is so easy now. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, we're going to have to start looking into those logistics again. So, I thought I'd finished recording this video, I uh, went back to watch the end of it and I realised that I uh, I was planning on doing something else and then, I don't know, I got distracted or something and so I didn't record the end of this video. Um, but I made a decision shortly after to progress with this map and start doing different things, really make some progress and so I've been playing this game, doing a lot of AFKing to get tons of resources and stuff like that because I really want to step up. Um, yeah, my progress with this and build a new factory setup, like a really top-notch one, you know, really well designed, laid out, and I've been doing lots of research and thinking about how I want to lay out my factory, this new one that I want to build. Um, and yeah, so I don't know what it was I had planned. I think I wanted to do some more stuff with logistics, but I have been looking into that and I'm struggling to understand really how to get these copper cables and stuff to interact with the chests. There isn't really like I said before, much stuff on the wiki or guides. Um, so it'll take me some time to figure that stuff out and we will come back to it. But in the next episode, what I'm going to be doing is giving you a quick overview of what I've actually uh, been gathering, you know, different resources and stuff. For example, steel, we've got tons of this. Um, I'll tell you in a little more detail. And then we will start construction of the new factory, which is going to be really exciting because it's going to have a very good design. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot and I think I've come up with something that is pretty damn efficient and I don't know you'll see it <laughs> you'll see it in the next episode so as always thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time